Okay. Got ourselves a whole big old stack of porgies in here in sea bass. So um, let's do a quick uh, how to fillet, uh, fillet and release porgy video. Let's get started. Hmm, look at that back boy. That's a porgy right there. That's offshore size. And they still get bigger than that right there. Check that bad boy out. Hmm. Wider than my hand, pretty much. There you go. <laughs> Big old porgy. Clearly the biggest one in the bunch. So here we have some porgies. Uh, they're uh, formerly known as scup. Everyone calls them porgies. Uh, once they get to a nice size, like some of these here, especially this one, uh, they're affectionately called pork chops. And uh, I'd like to think that's because when you fillet them out, the uh, fillet looks like a big old pork chop. But uh, I could be wrong on that. Uh, you know, if anybody else can tell me why, uh, let me know in the comments below. So. Um, Let's do a quick video here on how to fillet porgies. They're actually very easy to fillet, uh, especially with uh, their bone structure. Uh, I've noticed that any fish that has very bony uh, are actually very easy to fillet. And of course, first and foremost, make sure you always chill your fish. Make sure you keep them in ice. As you can see, I had these in uh, a lot of ice right there. Uh, these are fresh, as fresh as can be. And uh, I even uh, make sure to uh, take the uh, moment and um, bleed them out I cut their gills using safety scissors of course and uh, these are all gonna be as fresh as possible for nice clean fillets uh, that we're gonna enjoy and we're also gonna use a couple of these whole uh, for a couple other dishes so um, let's get started on the on the cutting all right all right so here we have two really nice sized porgies nice thick porgies right there each of these is about uh, 12 inches yeah 12 inches right there it's a good size porgy um, I'm gonna take the fillets off of these um, and uh, you know we'll cook them up fresh today so uh, in order to get uh, this started we're gonna use a, a small fillet knife uh, you can definitely use a big fillet knife if you want uh, just use whatever knife you're very comfortable using um, and that make sure it's sharp uh, as always make sure that you hold your knife with your fingertip uh, against the, uh, the back of the blade to get the better feel for how you're cutting and and pressure uh, trust me that eventually your knife becomes an extension of your uh, hand and that's that's very important for uh, for feeling around whether you're you know hitting bone or anything like that so always keep that in mind um, all right so the way we're going to do this is uh, as with most fish species uh, uh, with of this uh, type of body type uh, first and foremost you know, we're gonna pull back a fin here, and we're gonna make a cut that's gonna run right behind the pectoral fin, right behind the head, at a slight uh, 45 degree angle or so, going towards the back of the head to try to get as much as meat as possible. There's quite a bit of meat right up here and inside um, where the uh, gill plate starts. So, and cut down to the belly. Next, we're going to make a cut that's gonna be right here where we started the cut on top and we're just gonna ride down dorsal fin down to the tail okay as you saw how easily that that the knife rode along there the knife will always find the easiest path of resistance to, and, and it will just glide through there okay do the same thing on the other side lift this fin up Cut right behind the pectoral fin. This fish is making me look bad right now. There we go. Like that. Right where the cut ends. Right there. 
and if you're if you dig in too much you'll know right away because the knife will dig into the bone and it won't cut through if you do it right it'll slide right across those uh, spines of the dorsal fin okay all the way to the tail now once we've completed those uh, pre-cuts we're gonna use our thumb and pull back on the meat here a little bit and we're just gonna use the knife and make shallow cuts and just glide it over the ribs over the uh, whole backbone into the ribs and we're going to pull up with our hand as we cut down go over the uh, the spine release the fillet off the tail come down we're going to cut through pin bones cut around the ribs And then we're just going to release the fillet off the breast of the body. Look at that. Nice clean looking meat right there. That's the result of bleeding it out. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Same thing right here where we started the cut. Pull back on the meat and bring it over to the edge where it's easier to work with too and just nice remove the fillet right off Get, go over that backbone release the fillet off the tail cut through the pin bones right down over the ribs down here to the end and we're going to remove the fillet off the fish. Again, we removed all already the ribs. Only thing we need to do is remove the uh, skin and remove the pin bones that are sitting right here. As you can see, again, that's what you want. You want a fish that you can almost pretty much you can almost read right through it. You can see that it's very clear. That's how you know you've gotten pretty much uh, all the meat off of that. All right. So I'm gonna put this aside. Next step, I like to use a larger fillet knife for this part. We're just going to cut down to the tail, down to the skin, and we're just going to pull on the skin as we push with the knife, and the fillet will remove very easily. There's that skin right there. Same thing on the other one. Start it off, pull on the skin while you push on the knife. There's the other one. Okay. Only thing you need to do at this point is remove the pin bones and you can feel them and you can see them right here. It's cut on either side. Cut on the other side. Right there. And you've removed the pin bones. And that is a clean boneless fillet right there. Same thing on this one. Cut down on the belly side first, then cut on the other side. There, pin bones are out. Clean boneless fillet. Now on porgies, I know a lot of people say that you should remove the red meat. I really don't mind it. I don't find it um, off-putting or strong tasting. Um, but that's my preference okay however if you're so inclined what you can do is cut straight down separate into two small fillets and then if you want to you can then cut out more of this red meat off if you're so inclined quite frankly I think it's extra steps that are necessary and you can continue to cut off all this red meat Personally, I don't think it really makes a difference, but it's up to you. It's very easy to do that, and you can continue going along until you remove most of that red meat if you think that it you know, makes a difference on the flavor. All right, there you go. Let's throw that aside. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do it in real time. So, fin back. Right there, behind the head. Top of the uh, head. 
right down the dorsal other side same thing behind the pectoral fin back at the top of the head there you go down the dorsal lift off cut down to the spine cut over the backbone release the tail cut over the ribs cut through the pins Lay off and repeat on the other side to remove the second fillet. Come down over the uh, backbone, release the tail, cut through the pin bones, over the ribs, remove the fillet that aside pull on the skin while you push with the knife same thing Pull on the skin while pushing with the knife blade and then just cut out your pin bones. Porgies are delicious no matter how you make them. Cut the fillets off, cut them into strips, bread them, batter them, fry them, put them in a foil packet. You can scale them, cook them whole, you can fry them whole. Um, you can do a lot with them. It's a very versatile fish, so uh, they're very abundant. Go out there and get some. So you can enjoy some of this delicious catch. There we go. That's all done right there. Um, yeah, get out there and get yourself some. They're delicious, they're very abundant. Um, they're easy to catch, fun to catch. It's a great way to spend time with uh, family, get your kids out there, uh, and go enjoy it. Um, you know, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to continue to make more videos like this in the future. Um, don't forget to give this video a like. Leave any comments below that you may have, um, whether you're a fan of corgis or not. And, um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All that helps my, my channel grow. So uh, thanks for watching. And... Uh, Stay tuned for more. All right. See you guys. Tight lines.